Hey you guys, it's Nathan back with another video showing you Photoscape X and how to cut a subject out of a photo where you're able to just have that subject at the end. Where you're not just, oh there's the background, there's the subject, no, you are able to completely erase it, put a totally new one on, or leave it blank if you're gonna just save it for the future. This is Photoscape X, I have the pro version, but it is completely free for what I'm showing you today. So let's begin. So in the viewer, I'm gonna show you two different photos. We've got this one. So this is me just smiling in my room. And I'm actually gonna be switching studios in just a couple days. Basically, uh, my wife and I were moving uh, across town and I'm really pumped for that and I'll be getting uh, hopefully a better space that'll work even better but that's a photo that I've used for like profile photos and things like that and then here's a photo from a few years ago and it's a photo of me and there's a lot going on in the background and things but I'm going to show you guys how I'm able to remove the background in these two different photos uh, and show you why sometimes you need to think ahead if you know you're wanting to take the background out of a photo why you should think ahead instead of just oh let's go for it and just jump in here um, so let's begin we're going to uh, you see the editor you can make all sorts of changes and adjustments you might actually want to do some changes and adjustments before you go and just move it all into cutting it out or you can wait and do it later doesn't really matter uh, but it's your preference so we're gonna go into the cutout and we're going to begin with this one which I believe is the easier one to remove the background for because it is very simple so let's begin you're in the cutout tool let me go full screen here you have the magic eraser you have the lasso and you have the brush those are three tools that you're able to use to remove the background basically the brush you're gonna get a, a brush and you're gonna be able to go and just click and remove uh, the background and honestly this goes pretty pretty decently it's not like gonna take forever and as you can see when you let go uh, you have that. I could even go here to uh, to save and I could go save that to desktop and even though of course you're not done with it or anything you can save it to desktop and look you then have this which is now uh, transparent in the background. Um, now of course you haven't cut the whole background out but I'm just showing to you guys that you can save it at any point and get that stuff done. So let's look at what we do next. Um, there's also the lasso tool uh, let me revert all that stuff go back you can basically draw a shape um, and it will erase everything in that shape so that can work for other parts too and then magic eraser which is what's really helpful uh, basically what magic eraser does is it clumps certain color groups together so it says hey you know what this color instead of just doing that one dot I'm gonna also pick and it shows like 50 grades uh, it's at a uh, tolerance of 50 which means it's gonna say oh yeah anything within a range of 50 uh, kinda like color stops in between this I'm going to erase so let's click in and see what find what happens so we click it and it removed a lot of the background but it ended up removing some of my face as well which means the tolerance was set too high so of course you can move it and change it as much as you want so I'll definitely have to do that but at any point if you accidentally remove too much what you can do is go into the lasso tool or the brush tool and go and click this uh, restore so it's a paintbrush with a minus behind it and basically this means that I'm able to go through and paint the different parts back in and it's really helpful if you just make a small mistake and you're like oh yeah I'll go back and fix that um, instead of like sometimes when it's just like a huge major mistakes but you could even go back and put the entire background back in if you want to so now that we're basically back to our starting point let's continue with going to this magic eraser moving that tolerance down because I think what's happening here is because maybe I'm not perfectly clean shaven in this photo I'm pretty close uh, but basically this ends up looking also like the back wall so kind of similar colors that's why it's best to have like maybe even a green screen that's kind of ideal the best case scenario for removing a background because the color is so different from all the other colors out there um, on a person's normal face like if you had green eyes maybe that would be an issue but let's just click here click here I actually lost some of my jacket 
Okay, so maybe I'm still too high, so let's turn that tolerance way down. All right, so now we're removing stuff. Let's remove this black over here. All right, so we have removed a good portion of it, and we're gonna remove this little desk thing back here as well to the best of our ability. And as you can see, we've done pretty well. We're part way through, and next we're gonna go over to brush, and we're gonna go to erase, and we're going to erase these little things that are left over. Okay, now we're zooming in real close here. All right, we're still gonna, let's see, change the brush size down a little bit. Whoops, took out too much, let's put that back. All right, here we go. We're going to erase some more. And one thing that I found that is really helpful, I actually have a drawing tablet. Uh, it's just a bamboo, from the brand Bamboo. And it's just a drawing tablet that connects and it's just a digital drawing tablet. It doesn't have a screen on it, but basically it allows you to use a pen as your mouse. And that has helped a lot to make things real quick and easy when you're making those changes and making those edits. Whoopsie. Let me, can I just undo one little step? Yeah, I can. I can hit the undo button if I, you know, click the wrong place, I can undo and it'll go back a little bit. All right. And sometimes you wanna go in and cut out more because maybe it leaves some kind of a coloration on your shirt or coloration that you didn't want. You can continue to cut more out so you can just end up with only what you want. And that's kind of the key, that's the goal end result. Uh, you can also go to the magic eraser with a really low tolerance and try to erase some of that as well. Just know that you gotta be careful. All right, so we've removed it. Let's go back to the brush. See, is there anything else? There's a little bit. There's a little bit in here. All right, cool. One thing that you can always remember is that you can still go back into the editor and edit this thing a little more. Uh, so basically, if you down the road were to see, oh, wait, oh, I want to change it because I can see some brown on this on the jacket there from the reflection or just because it kind of bled in with the background uh, you can go and you know color that in or change the color um, and make that look a whole lot better you can also you know see that the higher quality the photo is the easier it's gonna be uh, but that should be kinda of the end of it didn't take too long just a couple minutes go and hit uh, go and hit save. I'm gonna just put this as done. All right, and let's see where we're at. There is the edited background, um, and it should work out pretty well. You know, if I go into the editor and I go, well, let's see. Oh, let's see. If I go and I find myself a photo, just like a blank random photo. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Actually, we could just use this picture here right in front of me. So we could go to this insert photo. We can go to the image. We can go click on this cutout one. And sure enough, there I am, all cut out. And I'm right here. Now, one thing to remember is that it's going to be. Oh, this is actually kind of interesting. So like, the question, can I kind of try to fake it? Mm, probably not. All right, so here's the problem, you guys. The problem is that uh, you also have to be kind of the same size relative to the actual photo. So if my head's super huge, it's not gonna look realistic. You have to make it a lot smaller and stuff. But this is just showing that it looks pretty good. If I were to zoom in really, really close, there's some shadowing and stuff that I'll have to go back and remove more of, but nicely done, and it didn't take me very long at all. Completely free using Photoscape X. So going back to the cutout tool, let's do one more. We're gonna do this one. Now this one might be a little harder because there's so many other colors involved and stuff like that, but my shirt is a you know, solid color, and you know, uh, yeah, my, complexion might be 
similar to maybe the rocks in the background or some of these um, some of these things but let's uh, click over to this tolerance thing and let's just click a bit and as you can see you're clicking and you can see that there's so many different um, types and stuff so maybe I have to turn up the tolerance a lot so I'm clicking around here um, Wow uh, one thing that's kind of interesting here is like uh, let's just go back all the way let's say you click on one spot you click on one spot can you turn this up so like I can turn it up a little bit it does it actually continues to intensify what uh, you did so it remembers where you clicked and it redoes that selection with that new level of tolerance so like if I were to go back to this photo here let's say if I had it at like 7 and I click it and I'm like oh man I didn't get it all well I'll have to click again you could actually turn the tolerance up just a little bit just a bit more just a bit more and you can start seeing oh it's starting to take away my jacket let me turn that back down a bit because when it's searching for all the different colors in the space it's starting to say oh wait this color this color is in that space so that can make it even quicker to remove those objects from your photo so I learned something today so that means we're having a good day alright so let's begin uh, over here so we like we click on something we turn the tolerance up like a lot Whoa, and it took out my face. It really does get strong at the higher tolerance levels. Um, so as you can see, this is um, a bit of a challenge because there's a lot going on here. There's a lot that I'm clicking, trying to remove. Um, and the problem is, you know, I can't just crank the tolerance up a ton because, oh no, and back here I forgot to do that, so I'd have to undo a ton of stuff. Ah. So as you can see, it's going to be kind of challenging because this photo was not taken in mind of having the background switched out on it. So uh, what I would encourage in these cases, maybe even using the lasso tool, you have to kind of mess with it for a while to actually learn how the lasso tool really works. But basically, you can go and cut out the outline of it, and it wants you to make a full circle, but you have to kind of think of how to make it a circle. Basically, I go around my object, then I go around the entire outside, I come back to the starting point, and boom. That is how you remove a ton of that very, very quickly. So, how about the rest of it? Well, in that this case, honestly, what you're going to need to do is probably use the brush. Uh, there's just so much random stuff going on. Um, it's not going to be very easy. Uh, you're gonna need to probably hit undo a few times and you know just cut it out cut it out cut it out and you know you just gotta keep going but you know if this photo is very important to get your uh, to get that background definitely do it but just remember I could have taken the exact same photo standing up against like a wall or a green screen and it would have been a much faster process like the other photo so you guys you can probably guess what I'm going to do with the rest of this image. You're, I'd have to cut every little bit out. I'd have to go back and erase or re, uh, put back different parts if I cut in too much and things like that. But you guys, I hope that this video was helpful for you to learn how to cut something out of a photo. And just for one last little thing in here, um, let's go to projects. Let's go to... Let's see. Here we go. So, like, this is my actual uh, YouTube thumbnail that I run a lot. Let me just take that out. Put this YouTube thumbnail in. This is actually the photo that we were just editing. And you can click on it and you can drag it and move it around uh, in this image. And as you can see, because I cut it out, I'm able to put it into a thumbnail like this or into a project like this. It can be super helpful, and it doesn't take a lot of time, effort, and it doesn't cost you anything thanks to Photoscape X. So you guys, hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much. Bye.